So a couple weeks ago, I was doing market research on what's called self-care apps. Now self-care apps can be anything that helps you with anxiety, depression, stress. They all promise basically the same stuff, that you're gonna feel good. Buy the app, use it five minutes a day or whatever, and uh, live happily ever after. So I'm checking out these apps, and I'll be honest, I get sad. You know, I, I like to feel good, but part of it too is, you know, I'm running a business here. I'm, I'm a brand. I'm actually checking out these apps to see if there's some sort of market opportunity here. Some of them gave pretty good advice. Some of them gave terrible advice. Some of them had good videos and content. Others had horrible videos and content. All in all, it was an interesting experience, but what I forgot is I left the notifications on. So for the next week, I woke up every single day to a stream of notifications of just banal platitude after banal platitude. You have a beautiful smile, Mark. Be sure to share it with the world today. Every single day, bullshit on my phone screen over and over and over. And I'm seriously asking myself, I'm like, I think I'm getting depressed. Like this is, this is making me feel worse. <laughs> this is terrible. Without fail, these apps immediately put me into a sour mood. How can a phone know what the fuck my smile looks like? And by the way, how the fuck can you be proud of me if you don't even know me? I get it, like people who feel bad, one of the reasons that they feel bad is people never said this shit to them. But the way you solve that is you do not pay a piece of software on your phone to say those things to you. This does not fill that gap in your soul that you've been missing since your childhood. In fact, it might just enlarge in the hole because you're sitting there on your phone, you're like, wow, this is what it's come to. I'm fucking paying an app to tell me all the things that no human being ever told me. That is depressing as shit. Long story short, I'm getting bombarded day after day with all these notifications telling me how special I am and how, how unique I am and how I'm a gift to the world. Uh, I'm sorry, but is this what passes from mental health advice these days? I mean, is this really how low the bar has gotten? Shit like this, it doesn't promote emotional stability. It promotes self-absorption. It promotes narcissism. I mean, what kind of person walks around all day looking at their phone and they're like, yeah, I am pretty fucking special. Yeah, I am a gift to the world. We don't need to hear more of that. We probably need to hear less of it. If you look at all the data, it's no secret that there is a growing mental health crisis happening throughout the developed world. Depression, anxiety, suicide, drug overdoses, these things are all on the rise through many of our cultures right now. I think one way you could frame this crisis is that it's not, it's not even necessarily a crisis of mental health, it's a crisis of resilience. Because it's not, it's not like life has gotten worse. Violence is at an all-time low, crime is at an all-time low, wars are at an all-time low. I mean, other than the fucking pandemic, like, things are actually going pretty decently when you look at the past 100 years of human history. So the question is, is like, why do we need to pay a phone to tell us that we have a beautiful smile every day? The reason to me is that there's a fundamental disconnect of like how we see living a good life or how we see improving our lives. I think as a culture, we have erroneously equated feeling good all the time with living good all the time. And yes, grammar Nazis, I am completely aware that living good is grammatically incorrect. Shut the fuck up. Put it another way, we're becoming less psychologically resilient as a culture. Everything is a crisis. I mean, it used to be that the word crisis was like reserved for the gulags in a holocaust or something. Today, the word crisis gets thrown around like a fucking football on Thanksgiving. Everything's a crisis. Everybody's having a crisis. Timmy got an F on his paper. His self-esteem is in crisis. His future is in crisis. Call his parents, call his grandparents, dig up his great-grandparents, hurry, sign him up for an app that tells him how beautiful his smile is. Our aversion to pain and struggle is so ingrained in us at this point that it's compromising our ability to learn and to grow and to just fucking function, just to be like a decent human being. You don't build psychological resilience by feeling good all the time. You build psychological resilience by getting good at feeling bad. 
What I mean by that is learning how to live with unpleasant feelings, learning how to live with your insecurities, learning how to exist and be productive and do good things and be nice to people despite the fact that you feel like shit. The problem isn't that you feel like shit. The problem is that you're behaving like shit and then blaming it on your feelings. We seem to have lost sight of this at some point. And this point strikes me as so obvious that it shocks me when I come across books and seminars and audio programs and websites and now apps that take people who have a crack-like addiction to empty validation and just fucking snow shovel it in their faces. And our culture's constant pursuit for convenience and the customer is always right and just feeling good all the fucking time on demand, we're making ourselves fragile and weak. I feel like we're giving up. We catastrophize everything. We overblow everything. We just wallow in our self-importance because, I mean, after all, that's really what all of this is. I mean, if you're making huge problems over every little thing that happens in your life, really what you're doing is you're, you're just sticking your finger up your own ass because it feels good. I mean, it feels bad, but it kind of feels good. <laughs> Look, if I made a self-care app, I would do like the anti-self-help notifications. I would have a mental health app that fucking challenges you, that actively seeks to make you uncomfortable every day. Good morning, Jim. You have one day less to live. How are you gonna make your life worth it? Think of the person you love most in this world. Now imagine them being attacked by a swarm of killer hornets. Okay, now go tell them how much you appreciate them. And granted, maybe nobody would download it. But fuck it, it's what the world needs to hear.